Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I thought that I would come on and just do a quick cutting video for the people that are participating in the T Quilts 2020 block swap. All of that information has been posted in a previous video, and I will try to remember to link it up at the I above. <laughs> I'm doing this is because somebody may not know how to cut their fabric or how much fabric you're going to need to participate in this block swap now for your white fabric you actually need exactly 10.5 inches of fabric so therefore maybe if you find a piece of fabric that's 12 inches that's all you need for your white background make sure that your white background is plain white muslin or Kona cotton because we don't want anything that has a white on white print. If you do that, just remember that your blocks will be returned. So it's real critical that you use the right um, fabric for your whites. So I will show you how to cut the whites. And then on the black fabric, which is you're going to use for the frame, you need to have approximately four and one quarter yard now if you want to get a little extra so that you can square up or if you're one of those people that like to cut off in chunks and then you waste a little bit you may want to go ahead and get four and a half yards five yards of fabric if you want to play it safe but four and a half yards should definitely be enough so with those strips for your white strips you're going to need to cut three each 3.5 inch strips and then I'm going to go to my die cutting system because most people that have a die cutting system has a two and a half inch die. And then I'm going to cut my strips into two and a half inches on my die cutting system. For your black background, you're going to need that four and a quarter yard. And from it, you're going to cut six each 14 and one half inch strips and six each 10 and a half inch strips and then I am going to take those strips over to my die cutting system to cut those out so let me point you down and let's get started with the cutting so we are going to start with the white fabric and I am doing two things here I'm actually going to be using my die cutting system to cut my fabric but I, I have a three and a half inch strip die, but some of you do not. Most people that have an AccuQuilt die cutting system at least have the two and a half inch strip die. So what I'm going to do is cut this into three, three and one half inch strips. I'm going to start with three and see how many I get out of it. And I just want to make sure that I'm, I got everything covered. If I was to pull my three and a half inch die, I could also cut these strips. Oops, that wasn't good. Can't cut and talk. But if I was, um, you, I could use my die cutting system to cut my three and a half inch strips. And then what I'm going to do is put these on the strip the two and a half inch strip die and I'm going to cross cut. So I'm going to do it a little different for you guys that may not have the three and a half. So I need three, three and a half inch strips and I am cutting across myself so it's a little bit difficult for me right now because of the camera is in the spot where I would actually be standing. So that's one. two and one more for three I'm hoping that I can get extra out of the three I know I can get if the fabric is 42 inches wide I can get like 17 pieces per strip 
And then I'll have this extra just in case I can't get the other two off of those three strips. So now I'm going to take you over to the die cutting system so we can now cut these into two and a half inch pieces. So I have my three and a half inch strip and this is my two and a half inch strip die. And on my die, I have lines that are drawn perpendicular to the blades that I have already marked. So what I am actually going to do is just lay my strips across matching up on these perpendicular lines, making sure that my salvage down here is past the blade, the end of the blades. And then I will just fan fold back, making sure that a little bit is going past the blade. And I have my fold ending right here in the middle. And here is where when this piece cuts here, I'm gonna have this much left, which should be enough for me to get another two and a half inch piece. So I should be okay with this. Again, my selvage edge on the end, past the die cutting blades, line up straight to the line, leave just a little bit extra here and place my piece. And this is my last piece here. So just like that, I take my cover plate my mat and I just roll that through. So I'll roll that through and bring this back over so you can see. All right, so I'm going to trash the little foldy bits. On the edge and remember when we put these down, I had four pieces of fabric here. So this is four, eight, 12. This is only two, 13, 14. This is 15, 16. And then I can run this through and get one more. So this three strips will definitely be enough to cut all 50 of your rectangles now I will have one extra piece that I don't need to cut so I will just put that to the side and not cut this one but I'm gonna leave it in this cutting area in case I mess something up then I know that I have an extra piece here. And now all I'm going to do is just place these back on this die. And I'm now going to cut out the remaining two pieces that I need. So there are my other two pieces, and then this is the scrap. From this, I only have here about 50 inches of fabric because this is actually doubled up. And so what I am going to do is I am going to cut 14 and a half inch strip and a 10 and a half inch strip and I do have more of this fabric here This was just a piece that was already pre-cut off of this Piece here, so I'm using the shortest piece first And so I'm basically I'm going to cut a 14 and a half inch strip and a 10 and a half inch strip Just so I can show you that on the board as well, but if I'm going to do 
at least 10 blocks a month. I want to at least try to cut for 10 blocks if I can off of this piece and I've already pressed it. So I may, if I put, go ahead and fold this in half and then I square this up. I'm going to cut two pieces at 14 and a half. Just trying to see where all of my edges are here. I'm actually going to use my mat. So two pieces, I've got this doubled. So I can cut two at a time. And I wanna cut 14 and a half. I need to slide this up a little bit because my other end is short. Right there, 14 and a half. Everything is under. And we're gonna trim this up on this side. And I also like to check and make sure that I got all of my ends there, and I do. And then I wanna come down and cut for 14 on the zero line. So I cut it 14 and a half down here. Now I need to cut this side and I'm going to have to move the camera to do that. Okay. So there we go with our 14 and a half inch strip. And I'm going to set that aside. Now this one, ideally, I should cut 14 out of here so that I can have proper usage of my fabric. So I'm just gonna hold off cutting that and I'm gonna go ahead and take a piece off the bolt. And it will have some wrinkles in it because <laughs> it won't be pressed, but I don't like wasting fabric. So if I can cut another 14 out of that, I will. And I will press this as I'm cutting these strips. I mean, I will press this one as I'm making the blocks, make sure that everything's nice and square. But for right now, I'm just going to cut off a 10 and a half inch piece. Slide this up. And I'm trying to make sure that my piece is over the five inch mark here. So I can slide down a little bit. And sorry about getting in the camera, but it's so awkward to cut. <laughs> All right, so now I cut it five. So I need a 10 and a half inch piece. So I'm gonna go down to 15 and a half and cut a piece. Right there. So now I have two pieces that are right here that are 14 and a half and just one piece that's 10 and a half. So I just wanna show you again how to use the die to cut your pieces. So we're gonna go back over to the die cutting area. So here I have both of my pieces so I have four pieces of fabric here that are together and I'm just going to fan fold them onto this board again I'm using a line so that I can line up my pieces making sure that my salvage is past the board here And so when I flip this back up, I now have eight pieces. And on a studio, you can actually cut up to 10 pieces. And I'm not sure if I'll have enough. See if I can pull this up a little bit more. Trying to make sure I have enough that I can get those extra pieces out once I cut this piece. Let's see if I can find a shorter mat. Yes, that'll work. So we'll use this mat because we only need it to cover where we're cutting. And 
I will move this back. Slide that off. This is my two pieces that are on the fold. Put them to the side. Take off the scrap here in my trash bag. And I have just cut these pieces. I'm going to hold these two pieces until after I cut my 10 inch pieces. So I only have one strip of this, but it'll still work just for demo. And then once I get off camera, I'll go press the remaining fabric and cut everything that I need. So all of my background pieces will be cut. My goal is trying to do at least 10 blocks a month so that I'm not doing them all at one time. And we are going to go ahead and cut that. And the only reason that I'm pulling my board back is just so that I can get it back in camera. I don't really have to do that. I can cut both ways my scrap. This is the piece that's cut on the fold. And then these are my 10 and a half inch strips. Scraps from the salvage edge. And now I want to go ahead and cut these pieces into 10 and a half to two and a half, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm just going to lay this piece on the board. All three pieces can be put on top of each other. And then this is the 10 and a half inch width. I'm going to pop it on top as well. Run this through one more time. And there we go. Now, one strip, when I run through, will only make, like if I had that one strip, that's just enough to make eight blocks. So I would have to cut more of that if I want to do 10 blocks a month, for sure. But I'm going to cut all of my other pieces for this. Okay, so I have cut all of my materials and I just wanted to let you know that I was able to get 102 sashing pieces. So I do have enough to do one extra block and I also have my white pieces all cut and everything came out of those fabric measurements that I gave you at the beginning of this video. And also, it is almost... New Year's Eve. Let's see, it is New Year's Eve because it's 12.15 a.m. So I'm hoping that I can get this video uploaded today because I'm hoping that tonight, if I'm not going out, I plan to go live tonight about 11 p.m. so that I can start sewing some of my blocks. My goal is to make 10 blocks a month, but I like to be pre-organized as much as I can. And so that's why I wanted to go ahead and cut everything that I needed in the black and white prints or black and white fabrics rather. The reason why I like having all of my pre pieces pre-cut, especially my white pieces, is because as I'm working on other projects, I sometimes do chain piecing, and then maybe I can use some of those white pieces with some scraps that I might have left over from other projects. And so I'm actually working on blocks when I am really don't have time to work on the blocks. So that's my goal. Again, I hope you can meet with me tonight, hoping everything plays out. I'll try to come live at 11, and I'll probably stay on to about maybe 1 a.m. for those that um, are up in the middle of the night. I'm just going to do a sew. I'll just be sewing. Won't be doing a whole lot of 
uh, talking because I'm going to try to get as much of the blocks sold as I can during that two hour time frame. So hopefully some of you all can join me later on. Bye bye tea quilters. <laughs> Thank you.